Hellas, hello and welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rise of the Robbers campaign. Legendary Iron Man campaign where we are only using Psy-Operative characters like Psyops and Templars and of course robots. Many, many robots. Good. So it's time for another retaliation mission which we are going to crush, I hope, because now we finally got some sparks going. Oh baby, I dig the sparks. I absolutely love them. So, how about, how about, how about, we're going to take our third spark, we're going to take Hogbite, and we're going to take good old Roby, making all weapons available, making utility items available. And we should give them a Mimic Beacon and Blue Screen Rounds. I like the Insta-Kill weapon. Uh, we might run into the Assassin, so... Mind Shield for Hogbite, it's not even a question. We already got a PCS for him, yeah. Superior perception is exactly what he needs. Gotta unlock a couple of slots for the sparks as well. I think you can unlock up to one to give them at least ammunition. It's been a while since I played with them. Okay, cool. So the only thing that is mildly disrupting is his incredibly huge weapon, which is a completely wrong color. I cannot appreciate that. Okay, cool. Good. Fixed uh, that. So we got three sparks, as you can see. Heavy, lawn, uh, heavy rocket launchers all around. We're, by the way, getting uh, soon getting additional heavy weapons. And for now, I think three sparks is a good sweet spot for now. I don't want to put too much uh, more Elarium in it. I rather want to ramp up the Psy training. So we're going to focus on that aspect of the campaign next. Getting two kick-ass Psy Warriors. And then our normal SWAT is um, one Templar, two Psy Ops and three Sparks. I'll try to get my hands on another Templar, of course. And yeah, hopefully that will give us a bit more variety in what we're doing but three sparks boy oh boy that's a lot of metal coming your way good we just landed and that means three sparks in this area our people are doing what they can to fight back but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby there's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position good we even got support from other resistance soldiers which is fantastic thanks to the Let's say loosey goosey nature of the sparks. Can he even park them here in the open? Doesn't really matter. Proceeding to target. Good, we have high ground over here, which no one can really use. Good job, Saiken. I'll go quickly. Half cover is good enough. Roby also moves for into half cover. Yeah, that's fine. It's not the perfect lineup, but it gets the job done. Keeping it nice and tight here and kind of a fire line so that if anyone really walks into us, we're going to have that sweet, sweet overwatch. There we go. The mutant is going to be the poor schmuck who is doing exactly that. And there's the 15% execution. Hell yeah! Alright, resistance. Starting to hit that, uh, that sector. Wouldn't be my primary target unless there is nothing else around. But okay, I get it. Sectors can be annoying. Moving up. Targeting diagnostic required. 
Well, we hit it without actually killing it. Not close enough to start um, getting more focus. All right, let's keep it going. Good job. Thanks to the hair trigger. That went pretty well. Roby is, not Roby, Hogbite. He's gonna take some high ground cover. Roby's also taking some high ground cover, but behind an actual tree and not a spark. And we still got a couple of overwatches to work with. Ooh, the first Archon. Ooh, the first Archon. I love it. The alien may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. They're going to me. Another overwatch shot and another hit from Roby. It's pretty good. Okay, the resists fighters begin immediately with punishing the Archon as well. But with its built-in dodge and evasion, it's a futile effort. One over here just to get that nice little flank. 70%. Let's just overdrive. Might as well get a kill out of it. Not yet. That's one down and... There we go. Good. Can't kill him right away. Continuing to move further. Still can't fully kill it. Vector moves up. Nice, it dodged. Which means Hogbite can finally take the kill and start getting some focus. There we go. That's one focus. Got ourselves four civilians. civilians down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. And let's get some more focus. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, but it's still a force to be reckoned with. We're going to catch up. Mainly because I don't want anyone to fall behind. No need to ask twice. And we're going to take high ground, of course. We're a, bit, uh, we're a bit short on ammunition, which will now hamper our ability to continue to move, which is again that momentum that I was talking about. But I think we're going to be fine for now. I see more mutants. That's pretty much all there is Secundos moves up let's just double check all right no one there you can always move up with a spark so staying near the building is as good as moving up the building We're okay on our ammunition here. Hogbite moves up. Just a moment. 
Tertius moves up. Oh boy. He's just hunkering down thanks to his mental illnesses. We're gonna clear those negative traits. But I don't have time to build an infirmary thanks to the rather strange build order that we've chosen. Since we do have the research breakthrough for assault rifles, giving them one more damage, all of these guys have one more innate damage. And if they wouldn't miss that often, Boy oh boy, would they have already killed them. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Good. Moving to the very edge here. Spark moves closer. And closer over here. Curtius needs to sprint because he's a little bit late to the party. And Hogbite will take the opportunity to take full cover here, right behind the spark. I can make it. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. And that's why you always want to have sufficient amounts of overwatch. That is not good. That's a beefy pack, Berserk plus two mutants. These guys are definitely coming closer and there seems to be another so that's another berserk plus two mutants oh that is cute thank you actually not too bad good getting on top here time to blow some of our cooldowns Vector is gonna take ownership of this. And that's two dead mutants because that then that RV will explode. Ooh, I thought it would explode and actually kill both of the mutants. Apparently I was wrong. Moving over here. Let's kill this mutant. Alright, Tertius goes in, hits this guy, hits him pretty well. Oh, 
What are our chances? 83%. It's not good enough. Good. And Hogbite has the honor to finish him. There we go. We're just parrying. Reload and Overwatch. And that was another pack. There is one more. At least one more. Apparently there is another one. Good. So far, these guys here ta are taking quite a bit of damage. If they would do a better job in focus firing, I was about to say they would have already killed them. Nice. Nice. Alright, Tertius is going to move up, don't have overdrive yet. We don't want to do that. Just out of curiosity, yeah, that would be good enough. Time to pull another cooldown. Overdrive. Let's start with getting all of the cover blown away and then let's continue with actually killing this guy. Wait, what? He's still alive? Moving up. We're using our alternative long ranged lightning attack. That's 100% hit. Another 100% hit, so... Let's just battle scan that entire room here. Should reveal any faceless one. Okay, and we're continuing on the onslaught against uh, these guys. Back the reloads. And let's kill the berserk. Good, cool. Got a free reload. Perfect. For shits and giggles, how about we're 
placing a mimic beacon just there so that if they want to fight something might as well go there The Bursar clearly does not care, but that's okay, you should be zerked down by all of the resistance forces now. Yeah, he's almost, he's almost down. But you should help your friends. That is funny. The guy might even kill him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Flanked. <laughs> Hilarious. Hundred percent sure. Why we cannot kill the guys in there? Let's just double check real quick. can't attack this guy good we just want to be sure that this here is going to work out so we don't have a lot of backup in here yeah, just in case the 90% shot would have missed still got a Rocket left over. All right, Hector takes a reload, and unfortunately finishes this poor schmuck. God damn it! I didn't want to take a photo. That was a stomp. And I hope you can now see just how strong the sparks are. If you use the cooldowns correctly, oh my god, and they just rolled over the enemies. And I think we only lost two civilians in the entire run, so we should get a nice little bump in income. Yeah, can't promote Sonar. The only guy who, whom we did not want to promote did get a promotion everyone else did not okay 17 civilians rescue that is fantastic work. yeah plus 51 and that is permanent like every single month that offsets I think the three or four last um, chosen reductions we're back to almost 400 Alien alloys, that's fantastic as well, but yo, go look guys, we need Avengers contacts. We gotta make contact with North America so that we can get the continent bonus to make even more contact even faster. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. And we got a next, another scientist, perfect. Cool, I'm glad that worked. Still can't recruit Templars, but we can reduce avatar progress. And that's what we're going to do. Hogbite has a new mission. 
But Hockbeit is not alone in his journey. He is being accompanied by a single other rookie named Raoul. And Raoul maybe gets even gets a decent weapon. Yeah, let's give him something that does not completely suck. Yeah, we don't want anyone to be captured, so that's a minimum. There's still a high wounding chance and a moderate ambush uh, chance, so might as well do another set of blue screen rounds. But it is definitely worth it. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate That'll cut off two further blips and will buy us time, much needed time. We're currently almost finishing resistance communication, so that's good. Skull mining in four days, that's also good. And there is the additional resistance contact. Now we can finally make contact for AT Intel. Wonderful. Got some more con uh, contacts. Uh, let's see, we could upgrade it for four energy, but I think we don't have that much. At this point, we're okay with the contacts. We can staff an engineer there. Can also use the same engineer to speed up the training eight more days and then the next upgrade definitely should be 15 15 alarm crystals to go for the psi operative training i'd like to get the exposed coil down here so that the next power relay will give us extra power we have a pretty power hungry setup here so for now, resistance comms are good. We can always staff an engineer there to make it uh, to make it even better. Good. That gives us eleven Elarium crystals and much-needed alien alloys. One, two, three. Let's start the excavation. 20 days is perfect. That is faster than I would have expected. We're not using a power relay yet. Shadow Chamber would be great. Too much power. Do we have anything that is coming in cheaper? Could put one engineer to here. And then we got five power. What would we build? Defense matrix makes sense. Infirmary makes a lot of sense. Training center would make a lot of sense. Damn it, we got a lot of uh, things that would make sense at this point. Hell, even shadow chamber would make a lot of sense. I think we should, we should use the time and We're not yet requiring a defense matrix, but it is nice to have it once we're being shut down because that will happen for sure. I like the training center idea. Not absolutely required, but it gives uh, the Psy operatives a good uh, boost. Don't need it yet. And the infirmary for reduction of uh, healing times. Shadow Chamber is also not bad. So yeah, all things considered, I think the defense matrix actually is the best choice. So let me do the following, taking him off, adding him here, 
Keep in mind we have plus three uh, energy from a resistance order. Just want to make sure that we keep, generally keep that in mind because we're, we can theoretically take that um, resistance order away without, yeah, without uh, compromising our power. So the same for contacts. I actually want to um, take the contact resistance order away. It's not good enough to um, occupy an entire slot. Speaking about which, our resistance orders are really not so great this run. They are mediocre at best. We got skull mining. That's good. And now I would continue with experimental heavy weapons, which is fine. That can just run and we're going to get extra heavy weapons as we go. Doesn't cost us anything. Perfect. I would like to see a breakthrough. Oh, even better. We got powered armor. Oh, um, yes, we're going to do that. Look just how fast we're researching it. 15 days. Oh my gosh, that is good. Thanks to the Illyrium that we got from the clearing here. Yes, it will require our Psylab to take a little bit longer, but that's okay. Speaking about which, I think this month we have not visited the black market yet. So let's do that. We might be able to purchase Elarium just for the price of Intel. Let's see what we can buy. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. We could... Yeah. No facility leads, but we got a lot of Elarium crystals, enough to get 40. Hmm. And that could upgrade us the Psi chamber. So let's get the Elarium. Can use that. At the same time, mutant corpses, be my guest, you can have those. We need the sectored corpses. I don't think that we need viper corpses, maybe for battlefield medicine. The max we can sell stun lancers, yes, berserks, yes, priest purifier. So that is great. Superior auto loader is also good, but I want to keep the intel to make contact, not to upgrade weapons. And yeah, this is where our power is just not enough with the defense matrix. That one power relay is not enough. We gotta wait a bit. Is it the end of is it the end of the world? Probably not. You know what? What can I do for you, Commander? You know what? We've just started this. So let's stop the construction. It returned us a portion of uh, the resources that we have invested. Let's upgrade a second cell because you guys wanted to see psyops and i want to offer psyops so resume training now we finally got two psy operatives training at the same time kind of speeding it up a bit that is great and as indicated we're completely full in terms of power no way to do anything here once the shielded power coil is exposed we can build more energy and then we should be fine until then we got to deal with what we have i might even by thinking about it later down the road build another 
Psy Ops Training Center. Let's get the supplies so that we do have sufficient supplies as well. That will reduce the chance of supplies spawning as random spawns. Also, we can buy stuff, which is pretty helpful. Got another engineer and the hidden uh, event, so that is good. It being very difficult, uh, it being very difficult means it's probably the chosen here. All soldiers have additional concealment. That's cool. Well, that's not as as threatening. This here stinks a bit. By thinking about it, we really don't have that great of an option to deal with covert actions and ambushes. It's always Hawkbite alone plus a rookie. Yeah, I don't know. We don't need the, well, we could use the Intel. Let me just be clear. But we could also use that extra engineer. It feels our our setup just requires so many engineers. So I'm uh, glad that the uh, game decides to throw us just another engineer. So we're probably going to do Operation Crimson Sky, but I don't want to make that call yet. In terms of overall soldiers, we got three sparks going who need severe leveling, not definitely they are underleveled. We got Roby and Renman doing the Psy operative training. And maybe we can get a third person into training. That would be fantastic. Everyone else is pretty much a rookie at this point and will probably continue to stay a rookie. Good. That is it. We're We've reached the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, uh, consider throwing a like and a comment down in the section below. You know how it works. It helps the YouTube algorithm. See you all in two days. Bye bye.